To begin, I just added a video to my timeline that has some audio. The first way to change the volume is to right-click your audio clip on the timeline and select Audio Gain. In the pop-up, we're just going to be concerned with these top two options, Set Gain and Adjust Gain. You can think of Gain as just another way of saying volume. Starting with Set Gain, let's select its blue value and change it to a negative number to decrease our audio's gain. To increase the gain, enter a positive number instead, but start with small numbers so you don't blow your eardrums out. Set Gain differentiates itself from Adjust Gain by setting your track's volume to exactly the number you put in there. On the other hand, Adjust Gain works quite differently. Changing the Adjust Gain's value will add that number to whatever your Set Gain's value currently is. So putting a 2 in here will set my current volume's gain to 5 since I just set the gain to 3. Or putting a negative 4 in Adjust Gain will set my volume to negative 1. I think Adjust Gain is more useful because you probably won't like your first volume change and it's easier to add on to what your gain is already set to. Okay, the next way to change your volume is to select your audio clip on the timeline and go over to Effect Controls. Under Volume, you'll see a level setting which controls the volume. First, let's toggle off the blue stopwatch because we won't be keyframing. Now simply drag the levels value to the left or right to adjust the volume. And of course, you can click the levels value and type in a number manually if you want a specific volume. The final way to change your volume in Premiere Pro is to extend your audio track until you see this line going through the middle of it. Now simply drag the line downwards to decrease the volume, or drag it upwards to increase the volume. Okay, and that's all for this tutorial. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.